This is Mark Burdett with the Clendenin Leader. We're here at Town Hall to talk with Shana Clendenin, the mayor of Clendenin, and give you an opportunity to meet your mayor. So Shana, thank you so much for taking the time to sit down with us today. And so please tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, well, I'm 32 years old. I'm originally from Work County, West Virginia. I grew up on a farm with my grandparents and my mom and uh, my brothers and sisters. And I moved to Charleston when I was 21. Um, I relocated to Clendenin in fall of 2014 with my then boyfriend, now husband, Jacob Clendenin. So where does Jacob fit into all this? And everybody's last name's Clendenin in the town of Clendenin. <laughs> it seems that way, yes. Um, Jacob's grandfather, Jim Clendenin, was a former mayor for many years in the town of Clendenin. Um, his father is the current fire chief, Kevin Clendenin, um, for the Clendenin Volunteer Fire Department. Um, Jacob is also a firefighter for Clendenin Volunteer Fire Department as well as Charleston Fire Department now. So Very cool. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Yeah. So what we know that this is not your full-time gig. Right. So what do you do for right. full-time? Um, I am a full-time consumer finance litigation paralegal for Spillman Thomas and Battle. It's a law firm in Charleston, West Virginia. That's a lot of words. What is that? <laughs> well, it has a lot to do with mortgages and real estate okay. and um, anything having to do with finance and the consumer. So I have a real estate problem. <laughs> I need to come to you to... Uh, it depends on what it is. Depends on what it is. Depends on what it is. Okay. I might have to give you to the, the top, top pay grade people. <laughs> <laughs> So every, I, I, this gives us an opportunity to really ask you kind of the big question. Mm -hmm. What made your, what was the big decision that, you know, you kind of came to that, oh man, we're running for the mayor of Clendenin? Well, <laughs> honestly, the big deciding factor, and this is how I explained it to someone last week, was pre-flood, I lived here. I would go to work, I would come home, and I lived here. I slept here. Uh, the flood hit. And I saw the devastation that it caused, and I saw how everybody came together. Um, and I really, really wanted to be part of bringing this back to life, bringing the town back to life after the flood. And um, I just felt like Clendenin needed um, a change. Clendenin needed something younger and something newer and something um, that's going to move us into the future. So what do you see as the... Now that you're, it's been mm -hmm. a, almost a year, mm -hmm. what's been the big, some of the big obstacles that you have seen mm -hmm. in your first year? The big obstacles so far um, really have been the change. Um, I know it's, it's really hard to accept change sometimes when things have been the way that they are for so many years. Um, so that's been an obstacle, um, as well as overcoming things that have happened in the past that kind of creep up or come back to life and then you know the new administration has had to kind of take the bull by the horns and deal with them. So what are some of the, when you talk about change, <clears throat> uh, I know the flood really it changed everything mm -hmm. really here. Okay. Um, but then a change over to administration and then you've had some changes within the past year here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what, what's, what are some of those other changes? The changes as far as the administration? Yeah. Um, we have had, we had one councilman who um, had to resign due to some personal issues uh, at home. Um, then we had our councilwoman, Ms. Kearns, who actually resigned her council seat to step into the recorder position. Mm -hmm. uh, the previous recorder took a job, a full-time job, um, in Charleston, you know, for, for herself and her family. Um, Let's talk about the fun stuff. Okay. Let's talk about the opportunities you now see. Now that you've had kind of a year to kind of get settled in here, kind of mm -hmm. learn the ropes, and there has been a lot of exciting stuff going on. Yeah here in Clendenin on Elk River and Elk View and this whole area. Mm -hmm. So talk a little bit about what you see or some of the opportunities uh, that you see for Clendenin. Moving I forward. think Clendenin's opportunities are in tourism and economic development and drawing people from outside to the area. Everything here is beautiful. We have so much recreation that, you know, we could never cover it all. Um, you know, bringing people in to the river and to the hiking and biking and and building this up to where it's a destination is what is going to bring Clendenin back to life. 
So I know that there's been some things kind of in the works. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people were excited about some of the rails to trails. We mm -hmm. keep hearing about that. <laughs> Uh, we hear it at town council meetings, planning yeah. commission meetings, mm -hmm. uh, and I know that's near and dear to your heart and you've been yes. very hard at work mm -hmm. at making that becoming a reality. So share with us what you can <laughs> at this point. So uh, we have worked, uh, myself and about five other people have been working very, very, very hard, have had meeting after meeting after meeting. Um, with people in Charleston, with people uh, with the railroad. Um, that is moving along very well. Um, I, I do foresee something happening with that in the near future. Um, I can't for sure say what that is right now, but it is something that I have been working on since really even before I took office. So um, yeah, we're working really hard to try to get something like that going. Well, it's very exciting. I was talking to my mother yesterday on Mother's Day, and she was actually saying that 20 some years ago, this was a topic of conversation. Mm -hmm. And so now it's kind of come back around. So this could be really exciting for yeah. the community. It has been on several occasions. And then there were, you know, there were roadblocks and then kind of people kind of let it go and then but now we've revisited and I, and I really feel like this is gonna happen this time um, should it happen um, which we're, we're really hoping so <laughs> uh, it would be the lo longest stretch of rails to trails on the East Coast second largest in the nation that's awesome that's like one and two because yes. we're normally like 49th and 50th. Yeah. I like yeah, the one in Yeah, 50th. we're moving up in the world. Well, that's awesome. <laughs> yes. well, that's really exciting. <laughs> yeah, so in closing, would, are there anything mm -hmm. that you would like to add or like to say to the community that you would that we haven't touched base on so far? Well, I would just like for everybody to know that I am easily accessible. Um, you can call me, you can email, you can text me, you can Facebook me, you <laughs> can, you know, all of those avenues. Um, I will get back to you, you know, just as promptly as I can. Uh, my door's always open. If you have an issue, you come and talk to me I appreciate it when people talk to me about things I don't like hearing about things on the street and then not knowing about them I appreciate those phone calls even if you're calling to to complain I want to hear that complaint um, so and and the other thing is I would really like for people to get involved I mean we have a lot of great things going on right now a lot of things that are new to the area a lot of of big exciting events coming up and I, I want everybody to come out and be part of that. And I want you to remember how you were in the weeks and months after that flood and how you cared about your neighbors and you checked on people and everyone was one big town. And I want everyone to be one big town. And we want to remind everybody that when are the town council meetings and we would like for folks yes. to... It's another way to get involved. you got to come to the meetings. Right. I know people don't like meetings all the time, <laughs> but I think this is a critical time in the history mm -hmm. of Clendenin to where people have an opportunity mm -hmm. to get involved. Absolutely. And our council meetings are the second and fourth Monday of the month. Okay. Second and fourth Monday, um, 7 p.m. at the Rec Center. Everybody's invited. Open meeting. Um, we will periodically post our planning commission meetings as well. Um, everything's always posted on the door of Town Hall and the leader. Um, I will, you know, I'll be forwarding you guys all of that information too. So I want everybody to get involved and come out and see what we're doing. All right, so we have a really cool, awesome event that we need people to come out to at the beginning of the month. So tell us a little bit about what's going on. Yes, yeah, so we need people. Um, June 2nd, 9 a.m. at the Old Smith Slot, um, we're having, we're starting the first annual Elk River Cleanup. Um, it's a conjunction between Town of Clendenin, 25045, and Kanawha County Commission. Um, so we've all teamed up to organize the event. Mm -hmm. And we've had a great, great response from our local uh, businesses here. We've got O.V. Smith & Sons, we've got K&N Contracting, Rodney Loftus & Sons, and Schaefer's Equipment have all volunteered their time and equipment and effort for the awesome. day to help us out. Um, we've got tutors coming that morning with breakfast. We've got Subway coming with lunch. <laughs> uh, we've also got Cabela's, who has donated two brand new kayaks to give away. Um, to uh, random volunteers so show up pick up some trash and you might go home with a brand new kayak um, they've also donated some fishing poles to give away that day and uh, t-shirts to the first 50 volunteers that show up that morning so it's gonna be a really big event 
Um, once everything is said and done for the day, we're going to have a little concert and kind of nice. hangout session over at Smith's so everybody can hang out and visit and, you know, see what you found that day. Maybe you found some treasures in the river. So, so that's good. So we need people yeah. to come out, yes. get involved. It's a great opportunity to serve. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that's awesome. Yeah, everything that day depends on volunteers. So we need people to put it on your calendars and come out and spend the day kayaking or even walking up and down the riverbank. We need people for the banks. We need people for in the river itself. Um, we've got the local fire departments that are going to come help us out that day too. So it's going to be a great turnout and I think it's going to be a really good thing um, for the community. To get your work boots, get yeah. your work gloves. Get your work gloves. Bring your, your work friend boots, and come out and help. Bring you a bottle of water and, and we'll, we'll send you. Our direction. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. Well, we hope that we're going to. I really appreciate you sitting down with yeah. us um, and giving the community an opportunity to get to know you better. And we hope to do this on a more frequent basis, yeah. so we keep everybody in the loop on what's going on with the town of Clendenin. So, yeah. thank you very much. Thank you.